All right, so you have a calic or a swirl. I call them calics. But you have a swirl, say, in the you know, top back of your head right there. All right? And your hair usually, when you have a situation like this, it, if it's too short, it sticks straight up. Okay? It sticks straight up. But if you pay close attention to this, I'll get a little bit closer here, you can see how I have this brushed. So there's the swirl right there. Now, I have no issues and this hairstyle is completely fine. Okay? There's no standing up whatsoever. It's not like this, you know, it's not sticking up like this all the time. Simply, you have to apply some styling techniques with this. And I've done videos on this before, but when you go with the way the hair grows, and because of the swirl, the hair is growing in all different directions, when you comb the hair in the direction it grows like this, like you're combing it in almost like a circle, it will lay down perfectly flat. And that's what's happening here. I've done this hundreds upon hundreds of times with clients over the years. There's, that's option one. Leave the hair longer, as you can see, how long this is in through here. We've got some good hair length in through here, enough so that I can comb it down, all right? And if you want to add a little volume to it, then fine, you go like this, okay? Just add a little bit of texture and volume. There you go. Or the second option is you take the hair like this and you get it cut to where it's so short that you don't have to worry about the calic. And what do you do if the hair is, you know, standing up and no matter what you do, it's still going to stand up? Well, you incorporate that into the style. You wear a more te textured, messy type of haircut like this. So you incorporate it into the hairstyle, right? You make some twists. Uh, sometimes if you take your fingers and you twist the hair like this, it actually creates somewhat of like a little bit of like a tease on the base here. So you're getting some support and you're able to actually maneuver. You can even do this too. You can maneuver the hair a little bit more to uh, make the hair go in a direction a little bit easier. All right. Now, obviously, you know, you may want to put some product in it, but because the hair is so short, it's actually blending in with what the calic is going to do or the swirls are going to do anyway, which is stick straight up. So there you go. As you can see, we've got some, you know, spiked up hair into here. You can add some texture to the whole look so it becomes part of the hairstyle, right? Really, really easy, simple solution. Now, I've been getting a lot of people saying, oh, I have a calic on the side of my head, right over my ear or in the back. You know, I've seen that numerous times. What I usually do, and what you have to do, is if you have a calic in the back of the head, if you're comfortable with doing it, what you need to do is go very, very, very short and almost do like a skin fade down in through the nape area. I'm talking like this, like my hair length. Like, you gotta go so short that you don't even see it and you're just blending it into the rest, but you have to go and basically shave it off or cut it off so you don't see it. Okay, you're basically eliminating it, but then creating a haircut that will blend into the rest. And most of the time, the haircut's gotta be pretty short, something like this, right? Something like that, maybe something like this, you know, but something a lot shorter where you can, you can shave this down a lot shorter and have no issues with it blending into the haircut, right? It's not going to work for something like this, all right? Now, if you have it on the side of your head, then again, if you want to shave it off and go really, really short, then you can. Or, or you actually let the hair grow over it and you have more of a longer style so that the hair actually covers up the calic and weighs it down. Now, if it's just completely splitting, like full on just splitting and it's, there's no way around it, it's time to maybe think of a new hairstyle, okay? It's time to think of a new hairstyle, which you may not like or you may really like, and that's something that's really long like this, where you can actually cover over this, right? You can, you know, use the weight of the hair to weigh down that calyx so you don't even see it. Like you're basically camouflaging it, right? You're camouflaging it so it's not an issue 
uh, with your hairstyle, okay? And there you go, here's a perfect example. It's longer, you're not gonna see it. So basically with calyx or swirls, what you're trying to do is either get rid of them completely, try to work with it by combing the hair in the direction of how the swirl goes, having a little bit of length on it, cutting it much shorter to incorporate it into the hairstyle, buzzing it or, sh or really taking the length down super, super short, like almost like skin, so you don't even see it, then you fade up into everything else, or you leave the hair much longer. If you've got it like in the front, if you've got it on the sides, it's all about doing the opposite of what is currently happening. There's, that's the best solution I can suggest to you. So please let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful. Don't forget to use code YouTube20 at shop.theslongguy.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.